So that is quite possibly the world's simplest book light. Howdy and welcome to the show. So to build this super simple book light, all you actually need is a little coin cell battery. Uh, so a little three volt battery, this one's a 2016. An LED, any color will do. White's better, but I don't have any white, so I'll just use a little yellow one in this example. A bit of tape, any sort of tape. Uh, it can be normal everyday clear tape, electrical tape, or gaffer tape like this one. A bulldog clip, and something to cut some tape with. That is it. So as you'll be able to see, the LED got two legs. The short leg is negative, the long leg is positive. That's pretty much all you need to know. With the battery, you should fairly easily see there's a plus on top. That is the positive side of the battery, and that is the negative side of the battery. So all we really want to do is sandwich the correct pin from the LED to the correct side of the battery. So if we try this and just touch the terminals, you can see that the LED lights up. Just to make sure that the legs don't touch the wrong part of the battery at the time, so we're going to put a little bit of tape across here just to make sure that the positive leg doesn't come around and accidentally touch the negative part of this battery. Just a little bit across here. So from that point, Take the long leg of your LED, put it on the bottom of the battery, and tape it down. Okay. You do want that to be as firm as you can get it. Try and make sure you get a good contact, but that is all you need to do. Now with the top part of the battery, what we want to do is we want to bend our LED because at this point, if we put it onto a page of a book, it's not going to light up much. We want the LED to be a little bit raised. So this is the bottom part of it. This is what will actually touch the book. We want the LED to be bent upwards like this. And then we want to bend the LED downwards like that. And that sort of gives us a downward facing um, perspective to throw a little bit more light onto the page. So once you've done that, you'll notice that the negative leg that needs to come down to this part of the battery sticking up quite tall. You need, simply want to bend that down without touching the other leg of the LED. Don't let the two legs touch. Bend this down so that it makes contact with the battery and give it a little bit of a squish. So as you can see, I've got still got my little bend in my LED I've still got this part here coming down and touching the battery and still making a connection. All right, if the two legs of the LED touch, you need to put a piece of tape in there so to stop them touching. So just like that, to make sure the two LED legs don't touch. That way you get an LED light up every single time. So from this point, the clip that is the bulldog clip. It's placed around the book and around your entire project here. Squishes down and the LED lights the page. And as you might be able to see there on camera, the LED, not coming through very well unfortunately, but the LED is actually providing enough light to actually read this page. So that ends up being a super simple little book light. No tools required, no soldering, no glue, just a little bit of tape, an LED and a battery and a clip. Put that anywhere you like to illuminate a page. But what if you do have a soldering iron and you can put a resistor in place and you can make something just a little bit more permanent? Let's have a look at that. So if we follow the same approach as what we've done here with a coin cell battery and an LED, but we put a resistor in place to make the LED last a little bit longer, limit the current, and we use the bulldog clip in a more permanent fashion. So what I've got here is the same sort of battery, but I've got it in a little battery holder so I can actually solder the terminals and replace the battery when the battery gets drained. My bulldog clip, 
the LED that I used last time. And in this case, a resistor. Uh, this one's only around about uh, 80 ohms, this particular resistor, um, but that's enough. Okay, so just going to attach the LED to this uh, bulldog clip. And I'm going to put it up here somewhere around there. And I'm just going to use tape to do that. So first thing, I'm going to uh, insulate this piece of metal just to cause save me any problems a little bit later. I'm just going to put some tape around that there. Doesn't affect the operation of it. Just saves the uh, LED from touching too much metal. Like so. And place the LED with the long leg out to the left. Uh, it doesn't really matter. That's just where I want it. All right, probably there will do. And we're going to tape this down here. Okay, so that LED, again preferably a white one, but I'll use yellow for the example, is in a reasonably good angle and affixed to the clip. So from here, going to attach the other leg of the resistor to the positive leg of the LED and then get a wire to connect from the output of this little switch to the negative leg of the LED and we have a complete circuit. And I'm going to place the battery holder and little switch just offset, not in the center of the clip, it will, it will stop you from squeezing it, just offset a little bit to the side there like that and I'm just going to put a bit of tape underneath the battery holder uh, to make sure that there's no shorts. So there you actually have a bit of a Frankenstein looking book light, but it works. Throws out a decent amount of light as long as you use the uh, nice white LEDs and a nice bright LED. Uh, just a switch, a little battery holder, and away you go. And obviously these wires and the resistor can all be trimmed down, um, tucked out of the way, uh, so that you have a silly, fully, fully functional clip. And you can trim this off down the bottom here and put it, uh, some hot glue or some um, bit of uh, shrink tubing. And you have yourself a very quick, very simple, very cheap little book light that you've made yourself. Okay, so if you've not done much with electronics or circuits or even LEDs before, that's a handy little book light. Or if you actually need to make yourself a book light, there you go, you can make one. Um, the downside with that is it's not overly bright. Surprising how much light it will put out in a completely dark environment, but the chances are, and for the most part, you won't be reading in a completely dark environment. Therefore, that's not going to be enough light to be useful to you. What you can do is you can actually go for um, brighter LEDs. These particular LEDs actually come off a uh, 12 volt LED light strip and this is just a little AAA battery holder with a 12 volt battery. And one of these little disposable 12 volt batteries that come in your um, garage door remotes and things like that. That's the kind of battery I'm talking about there. I think this one is actually an A23. So one of those 12 volt batteries running a 12 volt LED light strip like this one stuck to a paddle pop stick um, in a battery holder gives you a convenient way to power and run a significantly brighter um, light source and you can obviously use the same approach as that use the LEDs out of something like a 12 volt light strip and get a significantly brighter light that is very very bright so I hope that's been at least helpful or useful and a little bit of fun. So I hope you'll join me again next time. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe. That would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.